Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where we teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between. And this is part 91, how to paint goggles or glasses or anything with a lens essentially. Uh, I just got a request from a viewer about a quick tip for how to paint goggles and have a nice appearance. So we're going to start by, we're going to paint this uh, orc uh, Def Copta guy who has goggles on today. So we'll start off by painting Lead Belcher. I really like painting the outside of goggles Lead Belcher. Uh, you can ch feel free to choose whatever color you want, but this is specifically about the lenses. But I'm going to paint the lenses and the, the, the primer as well, Lead Belcher, because I want both of them uh, to be that specific color, as you'll see. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to paint the lenses with metallics first and then go over them with a glaze of a ghost tint. And that's how you create a really nice reflective surface that mimics uh, glasses or goggles and that's it. It's not a very hard appearance to maintain. So we'll start with, as I said, lab belcher, paint the entire lens, and then we'll paint whatever the perimeter you want it to be. I want this in this case to be metallic as well. So then the key is the next step is we're going to take Iron Breaker and we're going to just create a slight gradient of color. Um, on the inside of the lenses, the very top, uh, the top half of the lenses will be Iron Breaker, or towards more central part of the lens will be Iron Breaker, depending on what kind of gradient you want. And then, I, because the outside of the goggles will also be metallic, I'm going to paint the top part of it Iron Breaker as well. Just create a bit of a gradient on them, make them interesting. So now we've laid down our foundation. You can do this once again with the next step with Rune Fang Steel, as you want to create a nice gradient of metallics on the inside, in which the ghost tint will take advantage of. But uh, it's up to you how many gradients you want. So now we're going to use a ghost tint, and I'm going to use Plasma Fluid. It's a ghost tint. It is an airbrush-ready paint from Minotaur, but they have a wide range of colors, yellows, reds, blues, blacks, everything you can imagine. This is a mid-tone blue, and I really like it for my goggles. So I'm just going to put it on my palette and take a, a brush and just put a little bit on my brush and put it on the goggle very gently and slightly put it in. Now the thing is with these these ghost tints is, number one, they tend to move towards the sides if you use them with a hand brush. Of the, uh, so they'll tend to go more or the sides of the goggles and leave the center more clear. And the second thing is they get dark really easily. So apply a little bit at a time, and then when you're happy with the darkness, stop there. Because as I said, they get dark very quickly, especially with these mid-tone ones like this plasma fluid, which is a really nice mid-tone blue. And that's it. So now we've created our really nice reflective surface. Of course, give it plenty of time to dry. These things take about 12 hours to dry on a model. Don't touch in the meantime. Uh, or at least don't touch the lens parts. And now, you see, and now you see we have a really nice reflective surface on the goggles when it dries, as you can see here. And it actually looks like sunglasses or goggles. And this is a very easy method. And this is what I typically do for all my models that have goggles or glasses. You just create a, a gradient of colors on the lens and then tint it using a ghost tint. They're like glazes, but they uh, they work really well and they have such a shiny glass appearance to them already because that's what they're designed to do, that uh, you just leave them like that and they really do mimic glasses. And now we're just going to paint the band around it just to finish it up. I'm going to go with an Evil Sun Scarlet. I usually would do a dark mid-tone brown, but that's the color of his hat. So to avoid that, I'll just do an Evil Sun Scarlet, which will have a great contrast between the band and the uh, the rest of his, his pilot hat. And I'll just finish it up here. As I said, it's not a very hard uh, thing to do, but it was asked for by you. And I'll gladly make a miniature painting 101 on any suggestion you want me to make. And then finally, we'll just take some Raikland Flesh Shade and we're going to apply it to the uh, to the band just to give it a leathery appearance. That way it's not perfectly pristine and red. It's too or it, it has to be an orky fashion, right? It has to be dirty. And Raikland Flesh Shade has tones of brown and reds in them. So it's a really nice, contra it'll add a bit of a leathery appearance, but keep the redness in the uh, in the material. And that's it. So when it is dry, it looks like this. And uh, it's good to go. And that's essentially how to paint goggles and glasses. As I said, you paint the perimeter, paint the inside of the lenses metallics, and then tint them with ghost tints, paint the bands or around them, uh, whatever the parts are around them, glasses or goggles, and then whatever color you wish. And that's a pretty simple procedure for painting goggles. And we got the nice glassy appearance, as you can see there. It's really nice and reflective, and definitely looks shiny and mimics uh, sunglasses or goggles that they would be wearing. 
So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next week's episode, part 92, which is just around the corner. But if you don't want to wait for next week, check out The Warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel. We're not only going to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes before anyone else, you get to see over 80 start to finish painting tutorials, battle reports, an Airbrush 101 series, face-off episodes, and a Q&J series. I just tons of content that I know you're going to love. So go and check out The Warp. I know you'll love it. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.